Right, three, two, one, go. The Aperture Light Dome 2 finally arrived and I just want to show you my favourite features of this softbox and why I think it's worth the money. Spoiler alert, it is well worth the money. First of all, it looks pro. It looks like it means business. True story, I did a music video shoot the other day and the singer walked into the room where the light was set up and because uh, of the size of the thing, he was blown away. And here's a little clip. Is that a light? I forgot to turn my lights on, hang on. Add a bit of ambience. There we go, that's better, right. If you saw my video about the Godox SL60W video light, there's a link up there. It's this one, click, click that bit. You will have seen that I also ordered the Niwa softbox, which was great, but because these things are quite large, the Niwa box doesn't collapse down very easily, making it really difficult to transport or store away at home. Every time I wanted to film, it'd take half an hour to set the thing up and also half an hour to pack down as well. Now the Aperture Light Dome 2 does fold away easily and comes with something else that I really love and I'll tell you about in a minute. Why do I keep pointing? I'm sorry for pointing. I did look at getting the Light Dome Mini 2, which is a little less expensive, but the shadows you get on the Mini aren't as soft as on the large version. I'm not using the Aperture at the moment because I've got it here ready to show you. This is the old setup that I was using before. You can probably tell in a bit when I switch to the other one. It's horrible. It's horrible. So I decided to bite the bullet and go for the expensive option, but it was well worth it. Now I've put links down in the description for everything that I talk about in this video so you can go and have a look yourself. Now here I am trying to set up the normal style of softbox. This was the newer one that I showed in that other video, which was great. It's a really good light and if you're keeping it set up all the time in one place, absolutely perfect. Great way of saving money, just get yourself one of those. But if you do want to take it on shoots, the Aperture Light Dome 2 is a much better option because of that ease of packing down and the fact that it comes with a case. Which brings me to my favourite feature of this softbox, it's the genius design and what they've done is they've permanently fixed the rods into the mount so all you have to do is clip them in place and unclip them when you've finished which lets you set up and pack down in seconds in fact let's try it let's uh we'll put a stopwatch on and see how long it takes right three two one go <laughs> Stop. Just over 30 seconds. To be fair, probably could have done it quicker because I normally do it the other way. But 30 seconds, good. Better than 30 minutes. But I will say that's also including having the diffusion on. So that's not a bad time, is it? You can do it from the other side as well. You just push them down and I do prefer doing it that way, but doing it this way means that you can leave the diffusion on. So that, that does save you a bit of extra time. Uh, just be careful you don't pull the rods too much, but absolutely lifesaver. And then this is how you pack it down. Take your Velcro off like so. See these little clips? Just pull the rod up slightly, click, and they, they get released. That's it, and then you just go around doing that. and you are away. And that just goes straight in the bag. I'm just gonna swap the lights now so you can see what it would look like without the softbox on. At the moment, I'm using the Godox light and this is what it would look like without the softbox. You can see the harsh shadows here on my nose and my cheek. Also, in the background, you can see those harsh shadows. What, in fact, what is that from? Oh, it's the microphone. You see that? It's the microphone. So you get these harsh, shadows and it's not very pleasing. And this is what it looks like with the softbox attached. Oh, I mean, as you can see, those harsh shadows have gone and it's a lot nicer. I love it, I do. 
and the closer the light is to the subject, the softer the shadows. Now included are two types of diffusion material, two different strengths. So one's a bit lighter than the other. So depending on what lights you have or what look you're going for, you have two options. Let's put the other one on. I think I've got the heavier one on at the moment, so let's swap it out for this one. So this is the other option. This is the thinner of the two. As you can see, it's a lot, it's brighter, which is good. You know, if you need extra light, that's great. It means you can turn your ISO down a bit, which might be quite beneficial actually, but it's obviously letting more light come through. I quite like that. Yeah, I do like that actually. I thought I preferred the other one. I'm gonna keep that one on then. Um, turn the ISO down. Now another feature that this light has is the fact that it comes with a honeycomb grid. That's this thing. Looks like a bit of army stuff. I never realized how much a difference this stuff makes until using it and seeing it in action. But basically, when you've just got your normal softbox set up like that, there's gonna be light leaking into a lot of directions. So if you just want to light your subject and only your subject and try and get some of the light to stay off of the side walls or your background, you put this on and it stops the light leaking through the sides as much. So you'll see a side by side here. Now, you can see that there's less light leaking onto the backdrop now and that separates me even further from this. So that's a really good feature to have if you want to isolate the subject from the background. I, th I think it's amazing. And you've got more control over the light spill that's in the room as well. So I think it's a fantastic option and feature that it, that it comes with and you don't have to spend the extra on getting another one. So it's great. And it just Velcros into the side, so I think it's mint. So in addition to the soft box being able to collapse down easily, it also comes with its own soft case, which is splendid. Nice little soft bag there. So you can fit in all your accessories that it comes with, chuck the soft box in there, zip it up, and away you go. And I just want to point out another feature as well um, of this soft box. They've redesigned where the rods actually sit in the fabric, which means the fabric is actually pulled wider, giving you a more circular shape. <laughs> circular shape, rather than a sort of hexagonal shape like the other boxes are. It's a very subtle difference, but some people do pick up on stuff like that. It's like, you might be able to see the, the shape of the light in my eyes right now. You see? And some people like that pure circle light dot in the eye. But you know, it's a subtle difference, but the, the thought has been there and it does it does make it stand out in the crowd above the other soft boxes that you can get. And it's that extra attention to detail that Aperture have thought of with this new rendition of the light box, soft box. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. So let me know down in the comments below. Maybe you've got one of these. Maybe you're thinking about getting one yourself. Have you tried it before? I definitely recommend it if you've got the budget and you need that portability. And it does take the look of your videos to the next level. I mean, you can probably tell from the intro to this video to how it looks now. It's a lot better. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews and camera tutorials. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Aww.